Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Okay, so um, I want to get as far as I can on this. Um, sorry, I've buried the <laughs> the actual book, the Hazel of Heatherland book that we started a while back. Um, we're working in the second signature today. We did the first signature already. Um, I will... I think, well, did I do these in its own? It's in the challenge playlist. In my challenges playlist. That's where I linked it. That's where I put these. It's hard to remember this stuff sometimes. <laughs> um, so, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, and I do what I normally do. I've laid out all my bits and pieces in sort of... Uh, uh, some kind of order to help me know what I have and what I can use and all that good stuff. So this, I just grabbed this. I can't get a hold of, there we go. Um, oh, okay. Well, it's already put into two pieces. I think, I think, I think I want to have some of the words on there. So, uh, let me find my glue stick. I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing this down and we'll go from there. So how is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, it is Thursday evening. I don't know what happened to this week, but oh my gosh, has it flown by? Um, you know what I should be doing is using some water. That would be a better idea get my water brush here um yeah I don't know what happened to Tuesday <laughs> uh Wednesday is a little bit of a blur <laughs> uh but hey I'm not complaining whatsoever because guess what that means it's almost the weekend so yay for that I don't know why I just took off this little bit I could have used that oh well I'll save that maybe, um, and then we'll go with something like that. Um, so I've been doing some work in the background this week, um, which I always say that I that's I do that every week. <laughs> I do that all the time. I don't know why that's a different thing that I need to feel like I need to tell you every single time. <laughs> um, and I've been prepping a bunch of papers and things for um, Christmas journals. So uh, I know we've been working in that Amazon catalog journal, but I obviously want to do some more traditional ones and things. Um, I'm going to probably have more available on, well, for sure, there will be more available on my Etsy shop this year than I will have time to film and decorate with you guys on. Um, I think, as I've been thinking through this, I know I want to obviously do December Daily this year, and I was thinking, um, you know, it would be nice to, uh, do a lot of my um, Christmas journaling in my December daily. Um, so it's not like you're not going to get a bunch of Christmas from my channel this year. <laughs> Trust me, it will be Christmassy. <laughs> I can't. Um, I just don't know how much of the construction of everything I'm going to be filming because I am pretty late in the game. Um, it is already the first week of November and I don't really have anything available new this year. Well, I don't really. I don't have at all available anything new this year for Christmas, which is unusual for me. So I'm feeling the stress on myself. Okay. So I'm sitting here looking at, I've got some bits of twine. Maybe we can make ourselves a little bow. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm making just yet, but figure something will occur to me sooner or later, so. Okay. So 
Not the cutest bow I've ever made, but we can work with this. Let's see. There. That's a little better. Cut this in. Put, whoop. Cut that in a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Now. I don't know if I want to put him on a heart. Is he heart worthy? <laughs> we could do something like this and just turn this into a tuck spot though. I think that would be cute. Just add a little dot of glue here. I don't want to go crazy with the glue. And we'll just put that there. this down so so yeah I've kind of been thinking a little bit more about Christmas um, for well I've been thinking a lot about Christmas but um, for my journals and how I want to go about doing things this year so um, I think I'll do some semi-naked journals mostly or naked journals uh, for the most part this year uh, that'll be good for December dailies uh, so I think that's my plan alright so we've got this pretty awesome piece of paper here I've kind of wanted to turn this into a journaling card and I'm thinking maybe it could Actually, well, I will still turn this into a journaling card, so let me do that since I'm kind of messing around with it at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to just glue it down like that. And we will keep it well, or should I? I don't. I don't want to lose that. I think that's kind of a nice little piece there. So let me. Maybe let's do a bit of a patchwork. I'm gonna borrow and pull from different sections here to fill in the gaps. you can still see some of the coloring and stuff uh, from behind. Yeah, I've been doing a bunch of um, coffee and tea dyeing <laughs> this last week. Um, and if you don't know, I've got a, a video from, gosh, over a year ago now about uh, how I like to dye my paper. And so if you're curious, I will link that down below in the description box if you'd like to watch it. Um, but it's, it's something that I kind of came up with a while back and, um, it works very well for me. <laughs> uh, I actually get kind of a lot done, um, in a fairly short amount of time. And the biggest change that I made was I stopped using my oven altogether, um, and I think it was probably the best thing I could have done for myself. Uh, and I like the paper better coming out of it too. Um, it's not as brittle and crispy. Um, plus, I'm not wasting energy running my oven uh, for a whole day sometimes. To And I'm also not having to sit and babysit it, <laughs> which is another big plus in my book. Um, so yeah, I, I, but what I do is I take over my main kitchen counter. I have a very, very small kitchen. I have a, I'm in a townhome and my kitchen, I've never seen a smaller kitchen than this. Um, but you know, it works for me. And so anyway, but, 
<laughs> every time I do this, I'm thinking to myself, gosh, it's good that I don't live with anybody because they would really be irritated <laughs> because I basically take over the whole kitchen um, and, you know, all the countertop space is basically being used for um, tea dyeing and drying um, paper, <laughs> which, hey, whatever. It's only for a day or two usually and I can get a whole lot done in that amount of time which is pretty awesome so okay not sure how well that's gonna stay but we'll do that for that page um, let's see sorry I'm always cutting off everything that, now you can see a little bit better Okay, so I'm looking around me here, and I've got a few stars and a moon still. I've got kind of a fair amount of hearts left. I've got three birds, and I've got mm, eight or so flowers. So, thinking maybe we can put a flower down here. I don't know why I put that back on there. So yeah, um, I'm getting my eyes tested on Saturday. I discovered a website called Pear Eyewear recently, and I've kind of become obsessed <laughs> with this idea. Um, I needed to have my eyes checked anyway, and we're kind of rounding out the end of the year and getting to that point where I really should have them checked soon. Um, because I don't want to have to continue the coverage next year. Um, I, don't, I won't need glasses again for next year. Um, so, anyway, so pair eyewear is kind of really cool looking. Um, you basically find a base pair of frames. Uh, and then they've put magnets on the front of your frame. So here, let me take mine off. These are my old glasses and they're probably dirty, but they have magnets here. And then, um, what the premise is, is they make covers to cover just the front part of your frame and they are magnetized there. So they stay on. So basically, and, um, so yeah, basically you, um, and I got the clear frames so that pretty much anything I chose for the front would hopefully match better. But you can get the base frames in different colors and stuff. These are not pair eyewear. These are my older glasses. <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, I, I already put my order in <laughs> for my new glasses and um, frames, the toppers. Um, and so I'm kind of excited to get them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I haven't had my eye exam yet. So I need to figure out what my new prescription will be and send it to them before they ship them out. But... Yeah, so I'll let you know how it how that goes. Uh, hopefully, well. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. Um, uh, but okay, so I'm gonna turn this into a tuck spot. Uh, I've got a few bits and pieces kind of sitting here. I've got some of these things. I've got some of this paper still left. Maybe. this um and the good thing is with the I've never bought glasses online before and I'm obviously a little bit nervous about that but um I did my research you know watched a bunch of YouTube videos and reviews and looked at face shapes and things and made sure I picked a pair that they're basically gonna be the same shape as these um and the width and they give you all the dimensions and everything and so anyway I'm not too worried but if, if it totally fails and I absolutely hate them I can return them which I made sure of too <laughs> before I just went and ordered stuff but um so anyway yeah so I'm excited for that uh, I won't get them for another week a week or two at least but um been thinking about that. Uh, and then I also, I've been freaking planner crazy these days. I don't, for any of you who 
are into plant and it is planter season so it is a little bit <laughs> not my fault because we're getting bombarded well because I've been looking for them I'm getting bombarded <laughs> by those marketers out there who know that I've been looking for a planner um, but the happy planner got me got me real good this year I bought too many well first I bought a bunch of them on clearance um, and I don't know why, because they're planners that I don't think I'll really use much. <sighs> so I'm thinking like now, okay, well, I've got these planners. <laughs> what should I do with them? Um, I may do one as a junk journal. We'll see. I don't know. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe... Uh, you know, just a bunch of different other things, using them for the paper, using them for the covers and the discs and things. But, um, I've been, uh, whoops. Well, I guess we'll put that there. <laughs> um, I've been seeing a lot of people, uh, uh, hauling their Hobonichis for 2022, which I'm not real interested in the Hobonichi necessarily. It's just not really the way that I like to plan. Um, but their covers are so cute. And so um, while I was at Hobby Lobby recently, <laughs> I picked up... Uh, I'm going to put that down first. I picked up one of the Agenda 52, um, they were, they had their planner stuff on half price. So I like, I think I spent maybe $10 on it. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't need to justify it to anyone. It's my own money. I earned my money. I'm justifying it to myself, <laughs> honestly, at this point. Um, uh, anyway, it was, they, they had this one that was for the ring bound, planner cover but you can just buy the planner inserts and this one is kind of like a boho hippie-ish kind of muted kind of colors and stuff I forget what it's called but I absolutely fell in love with it and so had to bring it home even though I really hate planning in a ring bound planner <laughs> um, so I have been really thinking about, um, okay, what can I do with this thing to make it work for the way that I will want to use it? Because I do want to use it. I hope I bought it, you know, I want to use it. Um, so, uh, pull that up just a little bit there. Um, so anyway, I have some fun ideas, uh, and I thought, well, I'll turn the camera on. I don't know if that's anything interesting for any of you guys, but, I don't know. I I like to watch planner videos here and there. I don't know that I've watched all of them. Um, and we are a junk journaling community, but um, I have a feeling a lot of you also like the planning community. The planning community. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe maybe we'll go for it. But uh, yeah, so I uh, might do a video on that coming up at some point here in the in the near future. Um, so I created a funny little gap there. Oh, you know what I could do? I could fill that gap with some stitches. Like it was needing stitches. <laughs> or cross stitches maybe. Gosh. I sound like my grandma right now. She was always talking to me with a needle in her mouth. <laughs> you gotta concentrate when you do this. No talking. <laughs> because it's dark outside, which means it's a little bit darker in here. <laughs> it's not as dark for you because my phone, thankfully, adds enough brightness to the video that, um, it's, uh, it's, you, you don't notice it as much as I do. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I am actually going to tie a knot on this one because this is going to, um, be a tuck spot. And I mean, I guess I could, well, maybe it would be better if I didn't do that because that'll catch on whatever is put into the pocket. 
Okay. So let's do a cross stitch starting there. Just do a big cross stitch down that just a little bit. And then I have some washi tape here. And secure that down. So I think I'm really ready for my weekend to start very soon. I am so glad tomorrow is Friday. Oh, and we're going to have nice weather again, which is awesome. I don't know if we've ever been as lucky as this in quite a few years. I feel like the last couple of years we've had a blizzard or some kind of snowstorm happen um, in October. Uh, and it's been so nice this year. Okay, that's going to be a problem. go fix that make sure and really get that down as flat as I can so that it doesn't catch on anything okay the chili con queso looks well it doesn't look very good but it sounds kind of good <laughs> So I need to figure out what I want to do this weekend. Actually, what I should do is some more yard work. <laughs> I've got enough n new leaves in the backyard that I probably should either mulch or rake, which neither sounds like fun. Okay, let's do... One more stitch here. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you got to just do. Because it doesn't fix itself on its own. I also need to clean some more. Ooh, that's thick. Okay, so I think we'll have one more piece of washi tape. I don't know why I put that away, but um, hmm. maybe we should do three. I think that would look better. Ooh, this is tricky. <laughs> I really need a thimble <laughs> and pliers. <laughs> Going through two pieces of cardstock with a sewing needle is not something I would do very often. <laughs> um, okay, did they get like progressively bigger as I went down? <laughs> this third one is a bit larger. Oh well. Okay, so there we go. Got a few little cross stitches. And let's go ahead and where did my I put that away? Get my washi tape. So, 
we have ourselves almost a journaling card or thing, something. Um, yes. A second one. Sure, why not? Or what if we did this one instead? That's gonna be tricky to glue down. <laughs> and I don't love this one. It's not my favorite shape of a heart. Okay, so back to this one and that one. Let's do those two. Calm down there, little heart. <laughs> Sliding all over. <laughs> I see serve warm. <laughs> okay. So here is our little pocket that we can put onto some kind of page somewhere. Um, maybe this page here. Let's see. Or on the back side of that. New. I think this page will be good. So that down. I'm trying to think of things to talk about, guys. I'm not interesting these days in any way, shape, or form. All I can talk about is what's going on with me at work and what's happening at work. <laughs> and that is not at all interesting for anyone. <laughs> well, I guess it might be interesting, but... I'm not going to talk about work. <laughs> so. Okay. I'm looking for a sheet of paper to put into our newly made tuck spot. Do the circles on the top. There we go. Okay, so now it's kind of like, ooh, I wonder what's behind that. Um, I wondered, should I put this on here too? No, I'll save that for another one. Okay, so there's that. We've got some nice writing spot there and some birds. And I'm going to leave this because I think this would be cool to write on this page right there and then along there too. So then, and then same with this. I think this would be really cool to write on top of. Um, so, oh, let's get, um, let's find some fabrics or trim to use. Got that brown. Not my favorite, but I've been holding on to it because I think it would look kind of cool as a um, closure for a journal. Same with this rayon, whatever this is. It's seam binding. Um, let's see. Sorry. Getting all up in your business there, am I? <laughs> oh, here. This is what I was looking for. Let's do a bit of the 
this trim. This is, um, it's got like postage on it in like sparkly pink and copper, kind of. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> I believe I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> As if you didn't already know. <laughs> okay, and then some of this. We'll just have that out and ready. I'm not intending for this journal to become pink and purple, but <laughs> that's kind of happening. <laughs> okay, so let's see. If I did, I think a little gathered ruffly edge there might be kind of cool. And I might save this for like a tag topper or something. And then I'm going to come back and um, sew later. So I'll finish that with sewing. I don't want to put all glue down on the page. Oh. Or maybe if it won't stick. Well, it's being difficult, so I guess I'll just sew it right now. Okay, so we've got a nice little lacy ruffle up there. Um, thinking needs something else up there too. Um, let's see. Nothing too big. Obvious thing would be a flower. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I was just thinking, 
I don't know why, but, well, I do know why. I'm not on TikTok. Um, if I were, I would be a lot more in the know on some things, but, um, I just recently discovered the TikTok trend of sea shanties. <laughs> and, um, I've got that Wellerman sea shanty stuck in my head like crazy right now. <laughs> For any, any of you who know what I'm talking about, you probably can relate <laughs> if you um, also know of that trend. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just like, go away. Go away, sea shanty. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> okay, so. You know, I don't feel like I've been doing a whole lot in this signature, but um, there's kind of a lot of other stuff happening, like you know, the paintings and stuff. So, okay, let's do something on this page. Um, and I do want to do some stenciling too. Uh, I don't think I want to do that today. Or do I? Uh, I don't know that I want to pull all that out. Oh, you know what I could do? Let me try this and see what this does. No, I don't want to do that. It'll be too dark and I'm not going to like it. And I just don't want to do that right now. So I probably will do that on my own another time. Um, so, okay. What shall we do on this page? We've got... A clear sleeve that we could attach somehow and make a flip out. I like that idea. I think that's kind of a neat idea. I think maybe I make a hinge out of one of these. Fold that in half. And then, let's see. I would sew on one side only. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue to this very carefully. <laughs> Just to kind of keep it in place. I don't want to um, ruin my needle um, on my sewing machine because I'm going to take this to the sewing machine pretty much right away. All right, and let me lay that down. So, perfect. So then, I'm going to sew along here, and then I will sew this, once that's sewn down, to this side of the paper, or glue it, we'll see which I decide to do, and then we'll have ourselves a little foldy out um, thing. Hopefully I did it right side up, yes. Oh, it's open on both sides. So, I'll sew the bottom. I'll just sew around these three sides so that it's um, evenly done. So I'll be right back.
Alrighty, so we have <laughs> a little flap here. Um, probably shouldn't have used a zigzag stitch, but hey, you know, it made it more charming because <laughs> it's not perfect. So I'm wondering, should we stick this in here? That might be kind of cool and random. It fits perfectly. Uh, let's see what's on the back side. Oh, yes, we should stick that in there because there's a picture on both sides. So, there we go. <laughs> I don't think... Well, I could make a tab top or something to help pull it out with. So, let's do that. Um, what could I make that with? I've got some book page here from Hazel of Heatherland. Oh, this is, we'll keep that for something. Um, I, don't, I think I should use this on to, how to. Um, so let me just trim this up. Hold this in half. Can you tell how tired I am? <laughs> I can't even form a sentence anymore. <laughs> Okay, so this will be the top, so I need to do it like this, and let's get some of those Roman numerals in there, make it straight, there we go. So, do you know what I just did? <laughs> oh well, we can still use them. Um, might be easier this way actually uh, so let's see let me add some blue here I don't know how centered that is but there's that and then Um, what I should have done is inked this around in that purple color. I did not think of that until just now. Shoot. Well, we still could. Carefully. Maybe. <laughs> well, I'll I'll go around just the outside on this side. There. Okay. So there is that. Try that real quick with my fingers. And then um I think it would be kind of cool to also add something to the front of this see-through pocket, maybe. Or the back, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see. That's kind of weird. I like the idea of it, but it's not quite right for that page. I think I'll turn that into a top or pocket or something. Um, let's see. Um,
How about some stars? Sure, why not? <laughs> Put some stars there. Actually, I probably should use the Jabber Tack. I don't know how well that's going to hold. where we add our stamp maybe nope I think that's just too much I think I'm gonna keep that for something else okay Oops. well I probably should have used this for my <laughs> my hinge but that's okay <laughs> Um, let's see. Could turn that into a little tuck spot. Let's do that. I gotta find something to put into my little tuck spot. So, how about that? And Put Hazel of Heatherland Chapter One. I like that. I think it's kind of sweet. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, I'll probably come back over here and maybe we'll do a stencil of a star. Oh, you know what we could do? That could be kind of fun. Is do an outline of stars in some pen. Maybe not pen. Let's do all pencil. here. There we go. Okay. So we've got five stars going on here. And then I'm going to just rough this up just a little bit with my fingers. Grunge it up a little bit. that really changed it but I think it helped it's not so crisp and clean anymore okay so I've got a definition of some flowers which I kind of don't mind that um, I 
think. I'm wondering. You know, I haven't been adding much color, but if you remove the yellow and keep just the pinkish parts, I don't think it would add too much color. And it does kind of blend in. So let's take a look at this and see what we can come up with. Washi tape back out here. I know I should save that, but to be honest with you, I will never use it. And I can't save everything because <laughs> I would be drowning otherwise. <laughs> Let's see what this might look like on here. I was thinking down here would be a good spot. Yeah, actually, I kind of really like that. <laughs> okay. not to get glue outside the edge so it doesn't make a mess so maybe glue the actual napkin instead that would be easier <laughs> just try not to rip it that's the trickiest part okay well I kind of really like that I say that a lot don't I <laughs> I think it's pretty though um, nice adds a little bit of color. 
Um, and I guess if whoever ends up with this journal hates it, they could cover it up with something else, which would be very, very easy to do. So, okay. So there's that page. We've got three little birdies that need to find themselves home. Um, should we stick one there? I wonder what that would look like if it poked out. Let's just add that little birdie there. And then maybe stick something up into it and make it into a tuck spot. So, not tons of color on that spread, but, uh, or this, um, well, we kind of started it and ended it the same sort of way, but, hey, well, that's all right. Um, so, I'm going to go back through it and see if there's any other places that I think I should add stuff, and I think this page would be a good candidate for that. We've got a playing card piece here. Um, maybe we, <laughs> I've got a napkin stuck to my thumb. Uh, maybe we do that there, do a little bit of collage. Got the number five. <laughs> So I'll use that somehow. Um, oh, I was going after this color here. A little bit of that. Okay. We're going to have a little Oliver here in just a minute. bailed already. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think I want to use that side. Let's use this side. And I'm literally just going to start sticking these down, so I'm not really thinking too hard about it. Have a number six. I think I like the five better for some reason. Trim. 
which is kind of fitting because it's got like postage uh, it's kind of stamped onto it so it does work on there okay I'll just add to my vertical vertical stripes. <laughs> Straighten that out just a little bit, and there you have it. A little collage on our little card there. Um, now, let me put some glue on. Take your normal turn. Okay. Oops. Got too close to the edge. We're gonna have problem here. All right, so I'm going to just tip this down here, or glue it down there, that's what I meant to say. And then let's find a piece of something to tuck into it for some more writing space. I've got this guest check here, might be kind of nice. Well, it fits perfect, so let's go with that. And then... Maybe something a little more decorative. Let's see. Okay, let's add that in there too. And that'll help us with our green color. And don't worry, I'll be keeping these. <laughs> Okay, so that really helped add a lot, actually. Um, this does not want to stay. Let's do this instead. That'll, that'll work better. Okay. And then we've got that. We've got some more writing space and pretty flowers. There's another pretty flower. Um... I have a lot of writing space, but I think it's okay. And like I said, I don't want to get this to be too bulky because I'm a little bit afraid it's um, not going to close very well. <laughs> so let's see. I think I want some of this blue here. Flippity floppity. More writing space. And I do with the feather too. Uh oh. <laughs> Gonna have a headectomy here, please. <laughs> I'd rather rip the other paper than the bird. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> okay. So now we gotta do some surgery. <laughs> Actually, I think. Oh, be careful, Dammy. Um, I think the bird is okay. And so it's this. Let me just rub that off of here. <laughs> I left a little bit of the bird head on the on the other page. <laughs> There we go. Good as new. Never know it was there. <laughs> okay. So then there's that. Um, I don't know how to tuck that in there either. Maybe something like that. Yeah. 
something like that or not I don't know maybe that doesn't fit in there let's do some paper money maybe something lighter that'll work we'll do that okay and we'll save that for another somewhere else okay so I think I'm gonna call it for this one today and we didn't get as far as I hoped but hey we got one uh, another signature done so yep like I said we'll just kind of keep working on this as I have some time and need a break from uh, Christmas journals probably <laughs> so let's see how thick it is now okay not terrible not terrible yet it's getting there though <laughs> sorry um, so it's, it's a little bit chunky, but if I have to, I can break the spine and re rework it. Um, might not be a bad idea. I might end up having to do that anyway, but there we go, guys. Hope you had fun and I will see you the next time.